Hey everybody! So for a while now, it's been a goal of mine to reduce the amount of Neo points that I own to zero. And I mean this in both the liquid amount of Neo points I have and also the assets. So that includes everything in my safety deposit box, in my galleries. I want to reduce the amount of value on my account basically to zero Neo points. And the goal of doing this is just so I can start over at zero Neo points and then document going through the process of building my Neo points back up. And I know a lot of people will say, hey, that's kind of against the point of Neopets. You're supposed to just acquire as much capital as possible. I would argue that Neopets is an economy simulator and that's a huge goal of it is to just get as many Neo points as possible. I've been going through this process because to me it's exciting. I have a lot of Neo points in the bank and I think it would be kind of like fun. It's like almost challenging to get rid of Neo points in a way that also contributes to the betterment of my account. So that's like acquiring avatars or filling my stamp album. Once I do these things, I lose the Neo points and I can't get them back ever. I want to talk about what my challenges are. So the number one challenge that I'm facing here is that uh, trying to get rid of these stocks. Like I said, I historically have sold them when they mature to a value of 60 Neo points per stock. And over the past couple of months, I've reduced that to 20 just because I want to get rid of all of these stocks. So I'm, what I'm going to do right now is just get rid of everything that's has a positive return at all. I mean, the goal here is I want to do this as quickly as possible, get down to zero Neo points. So what did I buy these at? I bought these all at 15, except for this one. And so it's currently at 15, so there wouldn't be a return <laughs> if I sold it right now. And I bought half of these at 10. I used to have a boon on my account, uh, like a power up that I could buy at 10 Neo points. That is a Charity Corner benefit, which Charity Corner is an event that happens every year. I did not really participate in Charity Corner last year because it wasn't beneficial enough to me when I did the calculations to see if it would be worth it for me to participate. I would have to buy stocks every single day for a year in order for it to participate. And to be honest, I play Neopets a couple times a month these days. I have a very exciting career and job. I know some of you might be thinking, Julie, you'd never make videos anymore, but actually the opposite is true. I have a job as a social video specialist, which means that YouTube is my career and I am on youtube.com for hours every day. I am doing reporting, I'm coming up with concepts, I'm providing feedback on edits for videos for brands and it's really exciting but it means that when i come home from work i don't really want to make these kinds of videos anymore because it's a lot of my heart to do a lot of conscious effort and when i'm putting that conscious effort in heart into the content that i'm creating at work there's just not much left over for neopets but I'm excited to do this. This is something that I've been doing quietly for quite a while. I've been doing this for months. I think I started in December really ramping up my getting rid of assets. Every day you get items by going through your dailies and I go through my dailies to try to get avatars. So I have to get rid of these items as I attain them. So there's a constant process with that. And also I have a stock of items in my safety deposit box. This is a consistent effort on my account. I'm sure I have lots of videos about trying to clear out my safety deposit box. And it is rather small of Neo point items. The majority of my items are Neo cash items. So today I went and I activated a fortune cookie. I'm trying to get rid of clothing items, Neo cash items in a responsible way. I'm also going to be opening all of like my gift box capsules trying to just really clear out the items. These don't have any bearing on Neo points. You cannot exchange these 
for Neo points. However, I think the visualization of an empty safety deposit box will be really helpful to me making the point and making the claim that I've completely eliminated my assets, which I will be doing at some point in the future when I then start describing how to make Neo points with the evidence that I don't have any Neo points to start with. I've also been working on my stamp album during this time. What I'm trying to think of other challenges that I'm facing. Once I sell these items that I gain for my dailies, I then have to come up with ways to spend that capital. And today I got that gray growl for the avatar. And there are other like really basic ones like Halloween loop. Uh, the stamps are gonna be my last ditch effort to get rid of Neo points after I do the other things like training my Neopets so I could get avatars or getting a Meowclops or, you know, just buying any item with a rarity of 90 or above from the chocolate factory, which is a little bit harder to do right now because the amount of users on Neopets is up because Neopets is a nice comforting activity to do while you are at home. So I'm going through this list of avatars that I don't have and one of them is Sia Jub Zambra concert at the Tyranian Concert Hall. The way this avatar works is that there is a set concert schedule at the Tyranian Concert Hall and like once a month Jub Zambra and the Cobra Charmers plays and they're playing today. Just a complete coincidence. So I'm just gonna buy the ticket and go. Uh, usually I have to set like a calendar reminder that I obviously don't follow because I still need the avatar. But here I am! I just bought it! Let's do it! Let's get that avatar! Yeah! Jub Zambra and the Cobra Charmers! They rock! And I got the avatar! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Neopets.com. Thank you. All right, so every time I get a new avatar, I go to my preferences and I make it my current avatar uh, just, just for the heck of doing it. So congrats, Julie. We just got another new avatar. Beautiful. I'm missing the Robot Vandegeier avatar, and the way to get it is to visit the pet lookup of Robot Vandegeier with the robot colored pet pet attached to your active Neopet. So, is there any way that we could have two? Is there any way we could stone two birds at once? Let's see. Nope, unless there is a robot Meowclops, <laughs> which would, um, there is. How much is the robot paintbrush? You know what, this is a good way to get rid of like, just like a bunch of Neo points at once. And who is my Neo? All right, Twyfic, we're going to buy you a Meowclops, um, which is an expensive thing, but we're trying to get rid of Neo points. So anything will do, any dream will do. Let's do this. We're gonna go to the auction genie. I saw one on here earlier, I think it's at 6 million Neo points, which is about as much as I'm willing to spend on this portion of the task. Because then I'll just always have it. Alright. Alright, and then I'm also going to buy the robot pet pet paintbrush. I don't think you're allowed to search for paintbrushes on here. <sighs> okay, so we're just gonna go to the regular shop wizard and we're just gonna buy one because the survival. Seven, okay, uh, F5. F5 is refresh on Windows computers. So it looks like 730 is the cheapest that we're finding it anywhere. 725. If you're ever wondering what it's like to spend a lot of Neo points at once, it's really fun. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, is it gonna, is it gonna do? Nope. Commas do not work, it turns out.
And then once I get that Meow Cops, I'll just uh, make it be painted. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna put that in my safety deposit box and move everything that's out here into my shop and price my shop. I'm about to do the very exciting task of entirely filling my shop. I have 27 free slots and then I'm gonna price everything. So wish me luck. I went through and I filled up my shop. My shop has an limit of 55 items and all 55 items are in there and priced. Hey yo, very exciting. Um, so I finished that, a very thrilling task. And my safety deposit box is at overall 780 items with a quality of 1,000, quantity of 1,210 items. A lot of them are things like Tyranian Megafish, Diseased Megafish, Frozen Megafish. So once I get those guys out of here and priced in my shop, we'll see that quality drop, quantity drop quite a bit. And then I have that lovely, uh, what was it called? The Upcycle Fortune Cookie. And I'm gonna be sending quite a few items to, in on that, getting rid of Neocash items. And then we'll bring that quantity down. My challenges in the upcoming days are just clearing out that stock portfolio, clearing out my safety deposit box, and getting rid of daily items as I acquire them. I believe that's everything that I should really be focusing on in this time. Let me know if there's any capital that I'm missing. I just cleared out my item gallery, put everything in the safety deposit box so I can properly assess everything that's currently in my safety deposit box. I should guess I should also look at everything my pets have equipped and get rid of all of their battle dumb equipment as well. But besides that, uh, this is my journey to zero Neo points. I'm very excited to be going on this, going through all my dailies at the same time, trying to get avatars. Once I get that Meow Clops, I'm going to have an avatar and then I'll just flip it, sell it real quick, uh, probably for the same amount, even though it's um, you know, going to be worth a little bit more, but just get rid of it, get it out there, take care of all these avatars I need to get, you know, gray walkie sigh, own any gray pet and view its look up. So I looked up all gray morphing potions and the cheapest, according to this, is the gray gorl morphing potion. That's a tongue twister. The gray gorl morphing potion. Uh, with my accent, well, specifically my speech impediment, it's really hard to not get too lazy when you're putting together something like Grawl and Morphing Potion. Anyways, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just buy one of those and go to my lab pet and knock out that potion, get some Neo Points checked off of my Get Rid of My Neo Points initiative, and, you know, just do it. I can't remember if it allows you to have commas, so we're just gonna do that. Depleting the uh, stock of Neo points and getting an avatar in the process. Let's do it. Actually, today I was pretty excited. I had a yellow side bunny and she turned into a blue shoiro. Kind of a weird thing to be excited about, but I was just like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I haven't had a shoiro and like, a while, years. It's years since I've had a Shoiro. So now they're a gray Grarl. Oh, and actually there's an there's another avatar associated with Grarls, right? The the bony club thing. So alright, so I got an avatar. Nice. Two birds, one stone. Okay, let's go ahead and do one of my challenges, which is depleting the amount of scratch cards that I have. I only play Neopets a couple of times each month, which means that I rack up a lot of scratch cards. I have 55 more left. So let's just uh, quietly <laughs> run through this. This is kind of a boring thing to just like dedicate yourself to watching. I want to put this out here. If there are any specific videos that you guys want to see during this time, let me know. I have some ideas of things that I want to do. But if you guys have specific questions or recommendations, please let me know in the comments. All right, that's all I could tolerate doing right now. <laughs> that, that
that'll just like cause me to zone out. I can't. Let me know what you're working on on Neopets right now. I'd love to hear it. Love to see what your goals are uh, and to hear from everybody. All right. Thanks. Bye.